So let's do our Ladybug Life Cycle Project. Now before we do start this art project, I just want to make sure you guys are really, really understanding the life cycle of a ladybug. So I'm going to quiz you guys. Are you ready? All right. So what is the first step in, be in getting a ladybug? What has to happen? The very first thing. Let's hear it. Very good. A mommy ladybug has to lay eggs on a leaf. Now she lays these eggs either usually on the underside to protect them, but these eggs start out white and then they turn yellow. Very good. When they turn yellow, they are about to hatch. And when the ladybug eggs hatch, what comes out? Very good. Larva. Larva are baby ladybugs. They are long. Now usually they're a blackish color, but I colored these in a little lighter so you guys could see. They are a long black bug that they crawl around and all they do is eat and crawl around and grow. And then they shed their skin. And then they crawl around some more, they eat some more, they shed their skin some more. That shedding of the skin is called molting. When they have molted enough, when their bodies are finally big enough, what will they form? What will they make around their bodies? Do you guys know? They make a pupa. Very good. These, la these larvae will now form these shells around themselves called a pupa. These pupas are a hard shell that protects their bodies while they are changing. They will stay in these pupas for about a week or two. And then when they do pop out, what do we have? Ladybug, very good. But is it the ladybug that we normally see? No, this ladybug has no spots. This is a young ladybug. A young ladybug has no spots and it's a very light color. And this ladybug will stay like this for about 24 hours. And then they will get their spots and the color will turn deeper red and their wings will be able, are ready for them to fly, and they are now adult ladybugs. So that is the ladybug life cycle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little art project now where we're going to create the life cycle of a ladybug on a paper plate. So all you're gonna need is some kind of paper plate. Hopefully you have a big one. You're going to need a piece of black construction paper, a piece of green construction paper. You're going to need some glue. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a black marker. You're going to need a, hopefully you have a red pom-pom. You're going to need some popcorn kernels. I have them right here. You're going to need a rotini noodle. That's that squiggly one. And I think that's it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to divide up our plate because this project, even though I showed you five different stages, we're only gonna do four of them. So we're gonna do eggs, larva, pupa, adult ladybug. So all you're gonna do is you are going to draw two lines, one down the middle of your plate, and then one across the middle of your plate, just like that. Now it doesn't have to be straight, the best you can do. Next, what we're gonna do is we are going to label each of these sections. Those, the, so the first one is going to be eggs. Now, if you can write, Great, just ask mommy or daddy how to spell. If you have a little trouble, this is a great time to either practice or mommy or daddy can help you. So we're going to do eggs. We are going to do larva. We are going to do pupa. And then we are going to do adult. So your plate should look like that. All right, so now it is time to actually do the art part of our project. So for the eggs, what we're gonna do is you guys are going to draw and cut out a leaf. So all you have to do is on your green paper, draw a leaf, you're gonna do a little stem. And remember it has to fit on that little section on your plate, so don't make it too big. And then you're gonna cut it out. because the mommy ladybug lays her eggs on a leaf. Very good. So we have to make sure we represent the leaf on our art project. So there's my leaf. All I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put some glue on it. Remember, not a lot. 
um, just a few dots just to make sure it stays down especially on that stem because we all know how that little piece likes to curl glue it down and the next thing the popcorn kernels are going to be our ladybug eggs so as many kernels as you have make that amount of drops of glue three four five six I think I have seven and a popcorn kernel on each dot of glue. Let's see, can you guys see? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, this looks cool. All right, two more. All right, so yours should look like that so far. So now the next stage, which one are we doing? Larva, very good. Your larva are those black bugs. Now to do that, you guys are going to make your own larva. So you're going to cut out the body. And remember, it's just basically a long, skinny body. You can draw it first, or if you just want a free cut, it's completely up to you. All right, and just make it kind of like that. And same thing, glue. We're gonna glue it onto our paper. And then make sure you make all of those little legs because remember the larva just like to crawl around. Just like that. So now we have eggs, larva. Now the larva, remember they eat and they grow and they eat and they grow. And when they're big enough, they are going to form a pupa. It's my favorite word, pupa. And now that pupa, where is it formed? on the bottom of a leaf. So guess what? We need to make another leaf. So again, get your green paper back out. You're gonna draw another leaf. Okay, and then we're gonna cut it out. Now be very careful. Remember when you hold the scissors, thumb to the sky. Your thumb should always be pointing up. And if you hold it like this, it makes it very hard for you to control. So put your fingers on the bottom, thumb on the top, and we're going to open and close. Okay, got my leaf cut out. Good. All right, again, some glue on the back, just a couple dots. And we're going to stick it down onto our plate. And then this rotini noodle is going to be your pupa. So just make a line of glue and stick your noodle on. Now this one might roll around a little bit, so make sure you have a decent amount of glue and it should look like that. Now that larva is now inside the pupa and they are going through a metamorphosis, which means their bodies are changing. And when it opens up, what are we gonna have? A ladybug, very good. That's where your red pom-pom comes in. All you're gonna do is glue that red pom-pom to the plate, just like that. And then you are going to draw your own head and your own legs. Six legs. And, oh, I forgot the antenna, silly me. All right, so here we have it, your finished ladybug project. Your project should have these four parts, eggs, larva, pupa, and adult ladybug. So I can't wait to see what yours turns out like. I hope you have fun making this project. We'll see you back for a um, ooey gooey slime activity and also a really fun Play-Doh activity. We're gonna get our hands dirty. We're gonna get some sensory things going on. So I hope you're excited. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. I hope you're having so much fun. Please keep sending me pictures. I love everything you guys are doing and I can't wait to see your reactions, especially for the next two projects. So make sure, keep me up to date in everything you guys are doing. All right, see ya.